why this is so important um, to Michigan, to the United States, globally, is it's an indicator really of how our overall health and well-being as a community or society Yes. Just last month, the World Health Organization reported some shocking new data that experts are calling, quote, setbacks as it relates to maternal health, including this statistic. Globally, it's estimated every two minutes a woman dies during pregnancy or childbirth. Maternal well-being, health, death, um, is linked to infant health outcomes. All the more reason why in Michigan, state leaders are working hard to combat rising maternal mortality numbers through programming and other efforts spearheaded by their expanded Maternal Mortality Review Committee, a committee that's been around since the 1950s. Previously, the committee was comprised of predominantly clinical um, team members, health department, public health members, which again are very, very important. Our, but our maternal mortality committee now includes doulas, home visitors, social workers. Which means even more data to review. Recent data shows on average between 80 to 90 maternal deaths occur every year during pregnancy, birth, or within one year of those. Those numbers even higher among pregnant women of color. 2017, there were 77 deaths, 2018, 82, and 2019, 83. So sadly, we're fair, fairly stagnant, which is obviously really concerning as to as to why that is. Which is why MDHHS is getting even more granular, breaking down maternal mortality research and data into categories, pregnancy related and pregnancy associated. So I know that can um, can be confusing sometimes when we're, we're looking at the deaths. And those are deaths that um, aren't specifically related or unrelated to pregnancy. So things like motor vehicle accidents, homicide, drowning. Take a look at this graphic. Hypertensive disorders were the leading cause of pregnancy related deaths from 2015 to 2019, even more so among women of color. Black women um, had an overall rate of 29.8, white women 10.7. So how's the state making a difference? Shanna Feltz says they're continuing to address root causes and those systems in place. Most importantly, though, they're listening. Liz Lewin, Fox 2 News.